Welcome in to Seahawks Today, powered by Jets Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. So glad to have you with us as we get you set for the Seattle Seahawks matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs coming up on Christmas Eve. We will tell you everything you need to know about this matchup with a game preview, a look at keys to victory, as well as the injury report for Seattle. All that and more coming up in just a few moments from right now. I have been told that the Seahawks have a better chance of winning against Kansas City if you like today's video. If you don't want Santa to put coal in your stocking, then go ahead and smash that like button, and we'll get started with today's show. An old matchup between two division foes of yesteryear, the Seahawks and the Chiefs, and the Seahawks Coming in off a loss to the San Francisco 49ers, but did get a little mini bye week of sorts as they played on Thursday Night Football last week. The Chiefs coming in off an overtime win against the Houston Texans. Kansas City looks pretty good at 11-3. They're trying to get that number one seed in the AFC, but they're winning games that maybe are closer than they should be against teams like the Denver Broncos and the Houston Texans and Seattle trying to get back in the playoff picture at this point as they're on the outside looking in at this point in time. The latest odds, courtesy of our friends at BetUS, have the Chiefs favored by 10 on Saturday. Heavy favorites, double digits. Meanwhile, the over-under is set at 49, so expecting a high-scoring game of sorts between these two teams when they square off head-to-head -head coming up on Saturday. Who you got? You going with your Seahawks or are you going with the Kansas City Chiefs? What is your pick going to be? Let me know in the comments section below. Type SEA for Seattle. Type KC for Kansas City. Let me know what your pick is going to be. You might get an ad break. If so, take advantage of it. Get your votes in. SEA for Seattle. KC for Kansas City. A look at the injury report for the Seahawks. Four players questionable. That would be Al Woods, DJ Dallas, Trey Brown, and Jordan Brooks. Jordan Brooks, of course, that neck injury that he was dealt uh, from the Niners game. Brian Monet with the knee injury. He is out. And Tyler Lockett is also out with the finger injury. All three of those, of course, came from that Niners game. So the Seahawks a little bit shorthanded as they head into this matchup on Saturday. So let's go ahead and get to our keys to victory for your Seattle Seahawks. Number one, next man up. And what an opportunity this is for Marquise Goodwin. Personally, for me, as I look at Marquise Goodwin, stepping into the role for Tyler Lockett as he's out for this game, and when you consider the circumstances of the Seattle team trying to compete for a playoff spot and where they're at right now, I think you could argue this might be the biggest game of Marquise Goodwin's career. Seattle trying to get in the postseason. They need Marquise Goodwin to step up. His numbers have been not great, not terrible either, as he's been kind of just up and down. He has been played better as of late. But you come into this game here against the Kansas City Chiefs, and without having your star receiver here, Marquise Goodwin has to play well as he fills this spot here. They need him to come up big and be dependable for Geno Smith. That it can't just all be DK Metcalf, that Marquise Goodwin has to do his part as well. So for me, I'm looking at the next man up mentality. Marquise Goodwin, this is your time to shine. Let's see what he can put together. What's your confidence level in Marquise Goodwin? Is he the guy that he can get the job done for this Seahawks team, filling the void for Tyler Lockett while he's out this week? Let me know in the comments section. Scale it for me, your confidence level in Marquise Goodwin. 1 through 10 in the comments section below. Number two on my keys to victory is about stopping Travis Kelsey. Personally, I think Travis Kelsey's the best tight end in the National Football League. And he's as good of a pass catcher as anyone out there. Travis Kelsey is one of the all-time greats. And many people ask, how would this Chiefs team do once they moved on from Tyreek Hill? But Travis Kelsey has been the go-to guy and has been phenomenal this year. 91 receptions, over 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns. He is having a historic season. Juju Smith-Schuster hasn't been bad. Valdez Scandling's up there. Jerk McKinnon is their fourth leading receiver. And then McCole Hardman has been disappointing for Kansas City. I look at, you see those numbers there, and it's all about Travis Kelsey, right? If you can take 
him away and do the double teams, whatever you need, need to do, I'll take my chances on that of trying to make McCall Hardman try to beat you or Valdez Scanling here. To me, that is a this team is totally different if you find a way to take away Travis Kelsey and you focus your attention on Travis Kelsey. Look, we've seen over the years when Bill Belichick, the best to ever do it, right? When he faced Kansas City over the years, their number one focus was to try to shut down Travis Kelsey. That's exactly what I would do if I was Seattle here in Pete Carroll and this coaching staff is try to focus all of the attention on Travis Kelsey and taking him away in this Kansas City offense. Number three, do not let Chris Jones beat you. Chris Jones is incredible. What a football player Chris Jones is. And, I mean, he calls himself Sack Nation, and he has reason of why he can be called that. So far this year, in 2022, he has 11 sacks on the season, 12 tackles for loss, two forced fumbles, and 32 tackles. He's had the best season he's had in the last couple of years. And you look at this offensive line, the issues that the Seahawks have dealt with, especially in the interior of the offensive line with the center and guard spots, that does not feel like a good matchup for me of those guys trying to block and contain Chris Jones. I don't feel good about that at all if I'm Kansas City of having to deal with this guy who's going to be a Hall of Famer someday. So Chris Jones... Whatever you can do, the double teams, whatever it may be to try to slow down Chris Jones, anything would help as far as I'm concerned of trying to take care of business against Chris Jones there. Who's going to be the player of the game for Seattle against Kansas City? Give me one name that comes to mind who you think will step up and get the job done, whether it's on offense or defense. Let me know in the comments section who comes to mind who you think will be the player of the game for your Seattle Seahawks. I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Fetch. Use the Fetch app for iPhone or Android to scan your receipts to earn points and turn those points into gift cards. Whether you're shopping at Target, Walmart, grocery shopping, or even your local mom-and-pop store, you can earn rewards points by scanning your receipts with Fetch. You can also connect your Amazon account and your email to earn points with Fetch. You can also uh, enter those if you download the app and go to chatsports.com slash fetch and enter the promo code CHAT at sign up for 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. That's the equivalent of a free $5 gift card to get started. As you accumulate points, you can click on Redeem on the Fetch app and choose from hundreds of stores like Amazon, CVS, Starbucks to earn those points into gift cards. And you can see how easy it is to use right there on your screen. The 5,000-point offer is only for a limited time. So get started now. Chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter the promo code chat. The link is also in the comments and the description of today's video. Number four on our keys to victory for Seattle is running the football in shortening the game. I don't want to get into a shot to a shootout with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. No thanks. I'm not interested in that. Shorten the game as much as possible and run the damn football. Look. The Seahawks have not run the ball well the last several weeks. No secret there. The Seahawks have not had a 100-yard rusher in the last five games. You know what their record is in that stretch? One in four. I don't find that a coincidence at all that the Seahawks are not winning football games when they haven't been able to run the football well at all. So, whether it's with Kenneth Walker or whoever, you have to get the ground game going. Try to shorten this game establish the run to open up the play-action pass, and it will only help out Geno Smith as far as I'm concerned. Get the run game going, whatever you do. You have to run the ball and shorten this game, I think, personally, if you want to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Number five, win the turnover battle. Kansas City Chiefs don't lose a whole lot of games, but when they do, they turn the ball over. And I look back a couple weeks ago, Denver, who has been a hot mess this year, everybody knows that, Came very close to beating the Chiefs and picked off Patrick Mahomes three times. One guy in particular I'm watching for, Tariq Wallen, the rookie, who was tied for the league leading interceptions with six. It, it feels like it's been a minute since we last got an interception from Tariq Wallen. It wasn't that long ago. It was week 14 against the Rams. But based on the path and the rate that he was getting those interceptions, it does, it does seem like a minute, but... With that said, Tariq Wallen, those defenders, whoever, 
create those turnovers, win the turnover battle, and make plays, make Patrick Mahomes and company uncomfortable. Any extra possessions you can get, all of those things will go a long way. So, prediction time. Predict the score for Saturday's game between the Seahawks and the Chiefs. I'll give you my official prediction in just one moment. But want to hear from you guys first. Let me know in the comment section. We already asked you who you think's going to win the football game. Well, what's the score of the matchup going to be? Let me know in the comment section below. And make sure and join us coming up this Saturday for our Seahawks versus Chiefs watch party. It is going to be a Christmas extravaganza. We got all sorts of stuff planned. You will not want to miss out. We'll get going about 30 minutes before the game starts. React to the game in real time. Have a few drinks in hand and certainly enjoy ourselves for this uh, Christmas Eve matchup. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Chiefs, Seahawks from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. You will not want to miss out on it. We'll do our live post-game mailbag show as well. Join us. We'll get started about 9.30 in the morning Pacific time, 12.30 on the East Coast. Don't miss it. Seahawks and Chiefs live right here on Seahawks Today. So to recap, before I reveal my pick, the keys to victory for the Seahawks. Next man up at receiver. Got to watch out for Marquise Goodwin. He's got to play well. Got to contain Travis Kelsey. Can't let Chris Jones beat you and do too much damage. Need to run the football with Kenneth Walker. Shorten the game and keep the ball out of Patrick Mahomes' hands as much as possible. Got to win the turnover battle. Tariq Wallen, I'm looking at you. Let's see what you can put together to get the job done. Ultimately, I think the Chiefs are too much. I hate to admit this, folks, but I think the Chiefs, where they're at as a football team, they are going to be tough to beat. And at home, a holiday and everything, I think the Chiefs are too much to handle. Can't in – for Seattle, they're not playing their best football right now. The Seahawks uh, are have been struggling the last few weeks, and I think ultimately Kansas City is just too much. I'll take the Chiefs 27 to 20. Interact with me as always on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Tyler Jones Live. I'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today. Mm -hmm.